Revolution. Another episode of Freeform Friday. Bro is wild. These locks looking insane, insanely fantastic. Definitely what I would call some tree form locks. Crazy. Loving the way that they've all bunched together. They've married each other. They've been left alone to do their own thing. And this is the essence of growing free form locks. And all day today, I've been thinking about calling them tree forms. For these types specifically, where we start to resemble that of a tree branch and tree roots. And I feel like no one's going to be calling themselves semi-tree form. So it is a way to uh, recognize fully free-formed locks as tree-formed locks. These are looking fantastic. And it's very clear that these locks have not finished Kong going up just yet. The webbing that is taking place between these locks is definitely showcasing how these are going to become thicker and flatter over time. There is much to go with this transformation still within the future. Amazing looking tree forms, I must say. Big ups to everybody that have uh, gotten this far in, them, in their journey. Some people have said them joints finna be fire. Uh, what a crazy set of freeform locks. Those are nice, nice, those are amazing. New to this sub, freeforming for almost eight years. Check out my journey and tell me what you think. Well, first of all, welcome to the sub. If anybody wants to join us over on Reddit, the sub URL is r slash not nation. We were at 4.1k members and apparently in the top 10% of subreddits here on the website. So big ups to everybody that has been supporting through Reddit. It isn't easy to grow these communities over here and I appreciate all the freeform dreadheads, the lockers out there that have been joining and submitting their content. These locks look in incredible. I'm loving how the texture of them is forming out this being a type 4b 4c hair and i love the way that the frizzy hair acts on this hair type this is the beginning of the journey as well so dude's come a long way to where he's finally at the tree form stage takes a lot of patience and a lot of commitment to get through these these um, these progressions, these stages of locks, it's cool here how we can see the lock is starting to finally drop. It's got mad length, new growth coming in, real fresh, wild and free at this point. Incredible. Definitely looks like they've been worthwhile. These are raw as fuck. Very fresh, beautiful, and loving the transition. Around four and a half years. Got a lot of length going on for four and a half years already. Very nice. A lot of crinkly loop, loopy loops happening. He's got a couple dread beads in there as well. Just enjoying the process. Let's see what's going on with these locks here. Nearly two years free forming from a mullet hairstyle. The back is coming real nice already. And it's, it's good to see that because the back of our head definitely locks up quicker than the rest. The top is being that of the slowest progression but it will lock up with time he's able to do a top bun with that loose hair on top very cool maybe a type 1c and it shows that the free forms will still progress at this point the free forms will still take hold all hair types will lock up just give it time and patience 
He's even got some Congo starting to form as well, leading in for those thicker dreadlocks later on in his journey. Always good, always, it's always best to encourage the marrying of locks, allowing them to Congo up so that we can allow our hair to start resembling that of a tree with branches and stems. And I heard this interesting quote in a Bunny Whaler song today where he mentions we can't have stems, branches, and leaves without roots. So it's important to uh, understand our roots so that we can form these locks into the tree form. Peace to the nation. We got some skinnier freeform locks coming into play here. A lot of frizzy hair being embraced on top. Those dreads are long, they got length. Keep going the free form way, you'll see amazing results. I'll stay at it. He's been growing them for 11 years, free forming for four years. So, this is a transitional dread head. Free forming for four years now, so it's good to see people giving up the maintenance route and embracing that free form journey. Big ups to the nation. Texture shot at about 10 months. Loving the texture shot. Shows us just how locks form together. These look like they're a bit younger in the dread life. A lot of frizzy hair. Numerous locks as well. There is still lots of room and time for these to marry and Congo together. Looks like the sun has been hitting these naturally as well, allowing them to lighten up. These are amazing. I appreciate you sending these in. Super truth. Super two. Super tough. <laughs> Super tough. Wow. Definitely starting those tree forms coming in here. We got some branches coming in through the back. Very interesting part right down the middle of the scalp. Not often that you see parting like this on the freeform process. So it's very interesting and unique how that came into play. The tips looking pretty frizzy and loose. And he's got very few dreads on his head as well. Under 15 that it's looking like. They look fire. They're definitely going to show its process on length and girth, but I'm sure you'll have some special, something special. These locks have not let him down, and nor will they. They will be coming in great, like Tony the Tiger once said. I appreciate you posting these. Almost two years in. Embracing the frizz. That is what we do here on Not Nation every single time looks like there's a little bit of bleach gone on the tips of these locks as well no harm done there less is more these locks are going to be well embraced over the years i would love to see the progression over time please continue posting your picks so that we can so that we can uh, keep track of your progress you'll see it Freeform dreads on mixed hair type, part Jamaican, Egyptian, and a little bit of Native American. Very interesting. So he's got like a baby dread here forming as well. It's a start. It's, it's the start of a very long journey, my friend. You have to keep on keeping, continue being patient. Allow your hair to lock up, don't brush it, and things will form, I promise. The top is wavy, the back is curled. Well, Jamaican, Egyptians, and natives all have curly hair, so I say keep on going. His hair looks thick enough to create some very girthy locks, so definitely stay lock committed with these. Free forming eight years in. Definitely a member of the Tree Form Society. These Congos are, these Congos are immaculate. Loving the texture of these locks as well. 
August will be nine years here. Amazing Congos. Check out this sun bleach. We got some branches forming here as well. Flat locks. These are dope. 34,000 total views on, these, on this picture. Super dope, beautiful, fire locks, perfection, empress. Never trimmed them over nine years. She has a very tight curl pattern and tons of shrinkage. My hair locked, the hair locked up very quickly. These locks go so hard. They are wonderful free forms. Queen, your hair is so beautiful. These are the sickest locks. Wow, these locks look amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Epic. Definitely, definitely some epic locks. Loving the submission there. A decade and a half in free forming. One love from Serbia. This is the big post. Amazing to see that the nation has reached all the way out to Serbia. I wonder what the freeform community is like over there. Beautiful set of locks. Definitely keep on growing a decade in. A decade and a half in freeforming. So <clears throat> is that is that 10.5 years or, or 15 years? I think it's at 10.5 years in. That's some commitment. Any tips on how I can get my hair something similar to this? I have a 4A, 4B hair type. Easy to achieve locks like this with a type 4 hair. You're just going to have to stop brushing. Use cold water to rinse. Use organic shampoo to wash. And give it some time. And also... Do not be afraid of the Congos. Allow them to lock up. Allow them to join together with other locks. This is how you will achieve the process. There isn't any other way. There isn't no loctician that can create this besides yourself. Someone says they have the same hair type and range and they're five months into the free forms. I don't really feel locked up yet. Because honestly, five months isn't long enough for your hair to even lock together. Typically, it will take around six months for it to just, just to show the beginning stages of them locking. And probably around eight to nine months until you really see that, yo, my hair is locked fully now. But truthfully, even at nine months, you're still not going to have a full set of locks. But you're going to have enough to continue on for another nine months to a year to, and your hair will grow into locks a lot easier from this point forward. 40 years old feels good. I'm so grateful for my journey. Much love to Not Nation. Looking dope. Good freeforms. Good, good head of hair at 40 as well. This is an inspirational picture because it shows that we can still look and achieve amazing results for our mind body and soul well into our 40s as well so never give up never let the dad bod set in keep on working out and eating right so that our locks can grow righteously into the trees that they should be i won't lie this picture is a little bit on that thirst trappy side but it's inspirational Freeform locks, a better up close look. On the type 1 hair, there's going to be more frizz than usual, which is fine. No problem with that. It's weird how society makes us think that if we have loose or frizzy hair, that it's to be frowned upon. This is not the case. We here at Not Nation are disproving this myth in society by embracing our roots. These locks going crazy. Look at the amount of new growth that has grown into an afro. Big Congos forming in on the sides as well. This journey will still have much of a transformation with the years to come. Keep on staying blessed, King. I hope everyone's having a good day. Now I can't concur that these are free forms. They're a little bit on the thinner side, 
but there is still a chance that freeform locks can form this thin. Looks like they've been in a braid up and now in a braid out, given that crinkly effect. And clearly there's been some bleach and some dye added. So to each their own on their journey, I always recommend to never bleach or dye your hair chemically at all. It's never worth it because it's so easy to burn out the roots and to ruin the formation and the texture and the integrity of the lock itself. But I always appreciate everyone who wants to stop by In Not Nation and to support the channel's growth. So big ups, very unique looking locks, sir. Two years in August, definitely some tree forms. We can see how these have stemmed in their branches and are forming into trees themselves. These are some roots that will show uh, integrity, patience, commitment, dedication. Truly the essence of what we stand for here on Not Nation. Still in the beginning stages as well. And these have a long way to go in their lifespan, I must say. We will still see them join up, congo up, thicken up in girth, and fall down the sides and his back and shoulders. Right now they are honestly in the perfect in a perfect stage lengthwise to allow a lot more fun with the hairstyles. They're gonna have more of a mind of their own at this length. And once they get longer, they're gonna fall in a bit more of a uniform fashion, but also have its benefits because you'll be able to tie them up into different buns and top knots and hairstyles in itself. Big ups for stopping by. Locks just laying. Super thin, super cylindrical. At first glance, I would think these are twisted locks on that retwist vibration. Would love to know the process that you've been going through. These locks are still fire. We definitely appreciate you stopping by. One year mark. A shot from the back of the head. Trusting the process, staying locked. Big ups to not having any parts showing, allowing these locks to naturally part on their own. Definitely some free forms in the business here. I love the beginning stages of these locks because towards the, let's say, five year and the 10 year mark, they're gonna look completely different from what they are here showing. Beautiful locked up family. Very unique. Being able to embrace his roots is such a blessing. And it's interesting to see where he started from with this side taper. Definitely has a lot of trust in the process here. Your locks are flourishing and your family is beautiful. Oh, these were very interesting. Um, this lady had submitted her photos of her locks all the way from Budapest, Hungary. And uh, it was very unique of her to share her journey. This photo doesn't really showcase her locks as they're tied back, but the, f the loose hair on the front is what's being shown here. If only I could find the original photo here. One year and three months in. I think you're doing quite well. One year and three months is definitely at the stage where they're gonna be fully locked. And all you have to do at this point is to allow them to thicken up over time. Keep them clean, keep them moisturized, and your journey will flourish along the way. You use the wave brush method. He says, yes, sir. He says he uses a bonnet at night. The sponge is good for starting off, but once your hair starts to lock, switch to the brush. Very interesting. But at this point, I would say just stop using anything. Don't use a brush, don't use a sponge. Really, these tools are not needed for our hair to lock up. Keep that at the forefront of your mind. Semi-free form, started my locks with comb coils 
and she decided to freeform as I maintain my parts. I'm kind of nervous about starting with this much new growth. Any advice? Well, I think they look fantastic. You definitely don't need to maintain any parts. Let them do their own thing. Uh, here we can actually see the comb coils that they were started from. Now they're gonna grow in a lot thicker than what you started with on the tips and embrace it. It's all part of the journey. Drop the semi from your journey title and just go freeform. I guarantee that you will not regret it. Just a YouTube man staying dedicated and patiently watching these ropes grow in. Finally feeling some hang time drop. Staying blessed. Type 1 freeforms looking fantastic. As I always say, every hair type will lock up. Just give it the time and patience as this man has uh, agreed and concurred. His style is sick. He's got some nice sunglasses on. Sensitive work says the locks really fit him well. I think they look great. Appreciate you stopping by. Old set three years ago. Very neat. Versus a new set that he's got going on now. Crazy. Mad different and quite honestly, quite opposite of what he had before. And I feel like you're gonna be much happier with the, with the latter set opposed to the last set that you had that seemed to have been a bit more uniform, a bit more cylindrical. Mixed with black YT and Filipino using the Bow Wow twist brush. I've had instant locks before but just wondering, does anyone know if I'll be able to freeform with 3B, 3A hair in some spots? Of course, my hair type is actually very similar to this and my locks came out well with the freeforms. So honestly, all you really need at this point is cold water, which is really going to enhance the curl pattern and then let them air dry out and you're gonna see that your locks will form together. It does take about six to nine months for it to happen, but it will, it will go through, just be patient. Two years in, looking happy as heck. Nice sweater, it's very dope. Reminds me of Charlie Brown for some reason. And new growth popping in real nice as well. These locks looking like they're loving the Congo season. And they actually formed in pretty thin, but I can guarantee that they will thicken up over some time. And I love how you're able to flop them over on one side as well, giving a cool wavy look. Your locks are telling a story. He doesn't intentionally separate. He started off with a two strand twist, hence why they're so thin. I think you have a blessed journey ahead of you. These are definitely epic. We've seen him on the show before. I would definitely, I would always, I would recommend that these are tree forms at this point. Loving the frizzy afro on the top. Really a captain for embracing those roots. And an ambassador for the branchy tree forms. The branchy Congos as well. Very nice. And last but not least, I wanted to showcase my current locks in the video because I've never put myself in these reviews in a long time. And this is a video of me at work at a wedding doing videography. And I want to showcase how in fact I wear my hair at a professional job in a professional setting. These are free form locks in a formal situation. And I essentially just tie it back with a hairband and I let the frizzies fly as much as possible. Towards the end of the night, I might take my ponytail out or my, it's not even a ponytail, it's just being pushed back, but I definitely take it out by the end of the night and let them fly free. Uh, it's, it's been pretty amazing just having free form locks in this professional environment and I highly recommend testing your boundaries on how far you can let your hair fly in these situations. Live the life the rest.